that's when the little girl was finally alone in the attic. She felt a cool breeze tugging on her left braid. Hello, she called out. She felt an icy hand touch her shoulder and the ghost began to whisper. Can we take a snack, Ray? That's not what the ghost said. I could really use a snack right now. We just had a snack break. I can't focus on the story with my stomach growling. I want to know what the ghost says. Keep reading, woman. I'm on the edge of my seat. Guys, why don't we do something else? Hmm? Oh, we could go around and rank our favorite candies one through six. So yeah, I'll start. Is the story too scary for you? What? Too scary for me? No, that's ridiculous. I love ghosts and haunted attics. <gasps> What's that behind you? <gasps> oh my God, what? <laughs> I don't appreciate that, but fine. Maybe I am scared. Don't worry, ghosts aren't real. One time I thought there was a ghost in my house because all the lights kept flickering, but it was just my dad fixing the fuse box. One time I thought there was a ghost in my closet wearing a small gown. Turns out it was just my mom's old prom dress in there and she didn't tell me about it. See, ghosts aren't real. If they were, there could be one here right now. Even I could be a ghost. <gasps> Well, that didn't work out like I thought it would. Did I mess up? Was the TV too loud? I, I don't think they noticed that. Did they all log off? They did. Yeah. You took it too far. I did. Yeah.